Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Miss Hino's Lego Robotics. Today I'm taking you back to the Cargo Connect table. I know, I didn't put any sound effects in today. I just thought, I wonder if they think that's kind of cheesy. But anyway, we're going back to the table. We're looking at missions 9 and 10. The train tracks and the sorting center. So it's there's going to be some very difficult missions on the far east side of the board. But we're going to take a look at them today. So if you want to see that, stay with me. Hino Lego Robotics. Oh yeah. Okay guys, so I already know. I sent out a survey. If you guys haven't checked out my community tab on, on my channel, check that out because sometimes I throw these survey questions just to see how you guys feel and think. And I ask people, what has been your most challenging mission so far in Cargo Connect? And the overwhelming majority of you have said Sorting Center. So we're going to take a look at that mission today along with the train tracks, which some of you said was most difficult also. So we're going to be able, again, to see how the mission is done and how do you get those points. So let's go to the table. Okay, everybody, this is mission number nine, train tracks. So this is a two-part mission, but, you know, you can make it a one-part mission. Depends on what you and your team want to do. So uh, the first one is 20 points. If your team can drop that train track right there, that's 20 points. And the other 20 will come is if this train is latched onto this red latch right here. And if that's locked into position, that'll be worth the other 20 points. So um, it's a two-parter, um, definitely difficult, especially being over here on the far east part of the board here. So today I thought, you know what, let me just concentrate on getting that track down, pushing the trains. That's probably going to be in a different program just because I think already it's, it's a lot to do just to knock this track down. So stay tuned in future videos for the train getting pushed over. But for today, just the track coming down. Okay, so I have the same front end medium motor attachment that I used for the unload the cargo ship. That's going to be used to basically grab that train track and pull it down. So let's check that out. Okay, we're going to maneuver around the sorting center here. Head over to the train track. There you go. And we're back into home, and this track is down. Yes, and that train is locked. Very nice, and that is for 20 points. Okay, everybody, this is mission number 10, the sorting center. The instructions can be a little bit confusing, so I'll try to make it as easy as possible. So this blue container, if you notice, there's three different shelves. This has to be at the bottom of one of these three uh, bays. So if you put it, you can put it here, here, or here. So let's just say it needs to go there. The orange has to be in the middle of the remaining bays. So since this blue one has already taken up this one, we can put the orange either here or here. And the green one has to go at the top of whatever remaining shelves there are. So it's going to go in like that. So let's go ahead and reconfigure this so that we're still following the pattern. So blue is at the very bottom, orange can be here next, and green can be at the top right there. So again, make it simple. As long as blue is at the very bottom of either bay, the orange is in the middle of the remaining bays, and the green is at the top 
of the last bay you have this correctly set up and here's how you get the points for this one if the orange cargo container is the only container left that's how you'll score 20 points so you're going to have to simply remove the blue and the green leaving only the orange and that's how you will score your points so 20 points if this is the last remaining one so you know if you're going to be strategic about this some teams maybe want to put the orange one at the farthest point if you want to you know if you think that getting the closer ones out is more strategic whoops i had that wrong you know if you need to leave the orange in maybe you put the blue and green here so that way your robot doesn't have to go as far to retrieve the other colors so just a suggestion if you're kind of trying to strategize that one okay guys let's go ahead and see what's going on with this sorting center you guys were right i did a survey um here on my channel asking what the toughest mission so far is and overwhelmingly it is the sorting center so again to review we need to get the blue out of there the green out of there so just the orange is there but it's tough to get these out so let me show you what i got on my robot here i got this medium motor attachment i have the like rubber parts down there just so i can get a better grip on this because anytime you put plastic on plastic that's going to be uh, hard to grab and so the plan here is to get this blue container and put it into the cargo connect circle for 10 points but again what that does is it's going to allow us to get points for the sorting center once i get the green one out of there so we're just going to work on the blue one for right now so let's check that out Okay, grab hold of it, slowly get that out of there, into the circle. Woo, almost hit that truck. Okay, we're back in, and there you go. So 10 points right there. Obviously, again, I don't want to put it there if I'm going to head to other missions. So again, be careful. Be careful what you put on the mat that it doesn't interfere with other missions. But we did get that blue container out. So now we're going to work on the green. And that's when we'll get the points for that orange one being the last container left in the sorting center. Okay, guys, so we are ready to do the sorting center. You guys already saw that I did the blue container. Now we're going to be going for the green container here. So the goal is to get this green container out of there so we can get the 20 points for having just the orange container in there. So here's what I have. I have the same um, front end medium motor attachment that I did for the blue container, but I had to turn it because we're now going to hit the green container from the front instead of coming at it from the side. So not a big deal. And then we're going to plan to put that green container into the cargo connect circle. So we'll pick up the 20 points for leaving orange the way it is. Um, and it'll, it'll be the only color there. And then we'll actually get 10 points like we did for the blue container by putting the green one into the cargo connect circle. Whew, that was a lot. So let's go ahead and check that out. And again, be careful of your platooning trucks. Oh, I hope I grabbed onto that good enough. Ooh. Oh, come on, hang on to that thing. Oh, and it flipped into there. That was awesome. And I decided not to come back because you guys know I can make it back to base. I just wanted you to show or see this mission. And so again, just a reminder, um, you remember this blue one was gone because I just took this back to the cargo connect circle. So you'll have to be careful, you know, 
how filled up you make this because I, I don't know where I placed this blue one, but we get 20 points for having orange be the only color left in the sorting center. And then we got 10 points for that being in the circle. So I already know, cause you guys already told me in the poll that I gave the toughest mission. This is a very tough mission. It's so involved to get those containers out and to be able to, you know, have that orange one be the last remaining one. So definitely not easy. Um, good luck to those of you that are going to try this mission. It's um, definitely challenging. Um, strategy wise, I'm not sure if it's worth the time, you know, for the points. I know you can get more points a different way, but it's definitely cool to see this one in action. Okay, guys, so whew, my mind is blown on that sorting center. A lot is involved. And again, a strategy for your team is to figure out, hey, all this work that we're putting in, all the time that the robot is on that field, is it worth the points? And I'm gonna be honest with you, I feel like that sorting center should be worth more points for the amount of effort and time that your robot's gonna spend out there. I, and it's just my opinion, you can feel free to disagree with me. Um, train tracks, I like that mission a lot and I think the points are worth it. Um, but you, you, know, you guys can figure this out for yourselves. If you use those cargo containers from the sorting center to get other points, this can be worth it. But again, it's on that far end of the table and you, know, you and your team are gonna have to strategize. The farther away from the table we go, the harder that mission is gonna be to get done. So as you and your team strategizes like where on the table you wanna be, uh, you, know, you can definitely get to that side of the table. It's just all your maneuvers are gonna be that much tougher. So you, know, you can use sensors and you know, whatever you can to make these missions a little bit more doable. So hopefully you're still having fun and you know, being able to see some of these tougher missions. So good luck on those. I am Mr. Hino from Seals Lego Robotics. I'm out. He's out. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. Hey guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay guys, take care.